Welcome to Credit Matters. I'm Adam Rosengarten, Corporate Ratings Group. We're here today to talk about the lodging space. I'm joined by Emil Courtney, Senior Analyst on the Lodging Team. Emil, thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Adam. Uh, so why don't we start generally by, by talking about uh, how the lodging space has been performing and what our expectations are for the next year. Well, in the U.S., in, in the lodging space, RefPAR came in at 5.4% in 2013, and that was almost at the midpoint of our 4 to 6% range that we had forecasted earlier in 2013. Uh, so it was a good year. This is the sweet spot in the U.S. Uh, lodging space, given that occupancy levels are nearing uh, prior cycle's peak, uh, and lodging operators have a good level of pricing power. And that's likely to remain the case for the next two years, given that supply growth is expected to be pretty modest, around 1% this year, a little over 1% next year, compared to about 2% hotel demand room growth. Um, average daily rate uh, will be the majority of RevPAR growth this year and next year, mm -hmm. and that should enhance uh, lodging operators' margins over the next couple of years, as long as they combine uh, the good RevPAR trend with cost containment. Uh, so overall, we think U.S. RevPAR will grow 4 to 6 percent this year, at least in the low single digits next year, barring a macroeconomic shock of some kind. Uh, in Europe, uh, Europe has been uh, reasonably resilient given modest economic growth. We think that European RevPAR will grow in the low single digits this year uh, based on low supply growth also there and modest economic growth. So that's a pretty rosy forecast all around. Uh, what do we see as the risks to, to that forecast? Uh, well, some lodging companies have been uh, uh, reacting to the good RevPAR trends by making hotel acquisitions and share repurchases ahead of what they think will be higher hotel valuations and share prices. Um, and so an increase in balance sheet leverage is the key risk factor that we're monitoring in 2014. Uh, an, another dip into recession in Europe would hurt European RevPAR. That's another potential risk factor. Um, over the longer term, even though supply growth is currently pretty modest, as supply growth begins to inch up over the next couple of years uh, and approach the level of demand growth that we forecast over the next two years, around 2 percent, occupancy in the U.S. industry will begin to flatten out. Now, lodging operators might still hold on to pricing power because occupancy rates would still be pretty high at that future date. Um, but the overall industry would begin to become more vulnerable to a slowdown in demand or economic shocks. Still, we, we don't think that there will be a RevPAR downturn before 2016. Let me see. Uh, what about ratings changes <coughs> recently? Have we seen any movement in ratings in the space? Yes, we, we raised hosts' corporate credit rating one notch to double B plus uh, based on an expectation for uh, higher EBITDA and lower debt, leading to uh, debt to EBITDA improving to the low three times area this year. Uh, and that's even though host desires to be a net acquirer of hotels this year. We think that if host makes hotel acquisitions, they'll probably do so financing uh, them with a significant amount of equity issuance. Um, we also assigned a B-plus rating to Orient, uh, Orient Express, mm -hmm. and that's based on high leverage offsetting uh, what is a very good hotel portfolio, geographically diversified uh, globally. Um, we also assigned a B-plus preliminary corporate credit rating to La Quinta, the owner and franchisor of the La Quinta brand. Uh, La Quinta is actually in the market right now uh, with a senior secured credit facility and its owner Blackstone plans a $700 million IPO using the proceeds for debt repayment and we factored that into our preliminary corporate credit rating for La Quinta. Uh, investors can find our full uh, ratings rationale on our global credit portal for all three. That's great. Thanks for joining us today, Emil. And we'll see you next time.